good. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. All right. What is today? Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, I've never done a grinder before. And I'm sure you guys know what that is. It's where you chop a whole bunch of shit up and you put it on a hero roll. Now, the cool thing about how my brain works is once I knew I wanted to, to do a grinder, wheels started spinning. And I have another idea that I'm going to do probably next week or the week after. Hello, Abby. But tonight hey, Abby. I went the easy route and used uh, Red Baron's French bread singles, three meat pizza as my bread. And then the, the grinder is, uh, it's basically Italian, uh, Italian hoagie chopped up and, and uh, <laughs> grinded together for the filling. <laughs> Right in together. <laughs> provolone cheese, um, ham, salami, pepperoni, lettuce, tomato, onion, and that's it. And then I have macaroni salad and then potato chips in a basket. Because who the hell can't, won't eat potato chips with a sandwich? Can't go wrong with Baron. I know. Trust me, I made the mistake by going with off brands and it wasn't good. What's up, Hippie Zombie? Hello, Hippie Zombie. Hello, Marks. Hello, Nate Wood. How you doing? So that's what I got going on tonight. Excited for it. Yeah. I called your salad grinder because you even said you didn't know what you yeah, wanted Yeah, I didn't know what the hell to call the salad. So, to be honest, this is what I picked up in the store. It was Bacon Thousand Island Chopped Salad Kit. So this is what I picked up. But I added to it, I added some tomatoes, some onions. I see your comment. I do. thought you were going to use the pizza as the bread for the grinder. I did. So I did Marks. tomatoes, I did onions. Um, yeah, and then I rolled up some turkey, some ham, and some Swiss. And I kind of made it like a chef salad. And I put, there wasn't a whole lot of dressing in there, so I put some Russian dressing on top. Yeah, bright as hell. Sorry, guys. Super bright, but I guarantee you this is going to be freaking delicious. If we were to upgrade our camera equipment, it wouldn't look as bright. It would look how like it does on YouTube, mm. which is not bad. Who cooks all that? We do. We cook it. We yeah. cook it and we eat it. Yeah, I'm excited for the macaroni salad. And I the love chips. that salad. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, girl. This is going to be really good. I'm excited for it. I'm very excited for the salad. So we got that. I was thinking about Thank cutting you, this. Marks. I don't know. The last time I did the French bread pizza, I remember them being bigger. Well, because we got Stouffer's and then you didn't mm -hmm. like them. I did not. I'll never do Stouffer's again. Yeah, because we still have Stouffer's mm -hmm. frozen pizza but the last in our time freezer. I used, <laughs> the last time I used Red Baron, I used them as hot dog buns. So glad to see Jamie isn't blonde. <laughs> 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 Me Quentin. too, Court. Me too. I told him that would have been a huge mistake. Huge mistake. I think when Uncle Howdy debuts and if he still rocks the blonde, maybe <laughs> I might do some blonde in my thing, in my hair. What's up, Monica? Hello, Monica. How you doing, girl? I'll tell you, for a Monday, it was kind of smooth sailing. I forgot my badge at work. <laughs> so... Um, Tomorrow's going to be a long day because i got to get up extra early to take Kaki to work. Then come home, I'll probably snooze on the couch before it's time to take our son to school. And then I go to work. <laughs> so, um, it, tomorrow's going to be a long day. Tomorrow will be a long day. It's going to be a long week for me. <laughs> yeah, Forgetting 5 a.m. crap is killing me. Having to get up like, to get ready for work. Ugh. Not a fan of it, but uh, uh, you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, and you know what? Another thing, you guys probably can't tell because our we're, our face is not uh, close to the camera. But man, I got some sort of rash going on. And before I put the makeup on uh, at work, around like three thirty, I started like touching my face because it, it was like bothering me. Is it itchy? It was itchy, and then once I showered and stuff, it went away. But it's still very red and blotchy. You, and I showed yeah, you no, I see it. I, I know, see I showed it. you upstairs before. Just do some alone highlights. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to mess with it, though. Kaki straightened it for me tonight, so if it looks extra purdy, that's why. 
Yeah, I've what hair dye. Um, I haven't dyed my hair yet. It's gonna be brown. That's what I'm going with. I'm going with brown. You haven't done the highlights in a couple of years. You used to go blonde. I know, and that used to fry the shit up out of my hair, and I'm not looking to fry the shit up out of my hair. Because my hair is finally feeling like normal. I'm not frying it. Samantha sent us, uh, or sent me a message on Instagram, a, uh, a recommendation of what she does. And she even wrote it, and I said, told her to thank you back. I'll show you if you want to do it. Okay. If you want to do it, I mean, we can go blonde together. Um, if I'm going blonde, I'm going to a hair professional and going blonde that way. I'm not going blonde from the friggin' box okay. side. Alright, well, here we go. Not doing that. One Because I'm going to turn out orange back. and looking like Carrot Top. No, thank you. I don't know what to expect from this. I really don't. What do you think it's going to it be? It smells really good. I hope it is good. How are you feeling? I feel fine, Marks. Actually, I feel fine. Yes, I still sound congested. I'm still very congested, but other than that, I feel fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I keep smelling it. Oh, you dropped them all over the floor. I dropped my pizza, too. I dropped the bread for the video. Oh, my God. He dropped the bread all over the floor. And I picked it up right away. All um, over the floor. You inspired me to start riding my bike again. Very cool. Very nice. What's up, Andrew? Do those green drinks give you serious farts? <laughs> sorry, to be, <laughs> sorry to be gross. No. Um, you know, I don't, I don't usually brag about my farts, but they're like daisies. Wouldn't even know. Wouldn't even know I let one rip. Smells <laughs> nice, like little flowers. <laughs> Brittany, how are you? We're good. We got a we got a early morning tomorrow, which sucks. But do you want to know how I woke up this morning? I don't know, like five five thirty, five o'clock, five thirty this morning. Jamie's feet underneath my pillow. Oh, cold. Jamie's feet underneath my pillow. Now you guys know how I feel about the feet. I don't like feet. I woke him up. I'm like. Please move your effing feet. <laughs> <laughs> Please move your effing feet. No, not under my pillow. What are they Absolutely doing? Absolutely not. Sit? You is... just moved your feet. You rolled over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just wondering, why the hell are your feet were underneath my pillow? <laughs> you know, the weird thing is, is like I don't like to have my feet suffocated under the sheets. So, usually... My, they're sticking out, but I do like to have it under a pillow. So me and Kathy <laughs> sleep on the opposite sides of the bed. I, you know, I sleep at the end of the bed like a dog, so I can watch wrestling. And then Kathy sleeps like the normal person. I remember our daughter waking Kathy up, and I thought she was gone for the morning, for the rest of the morning. I thought she was gonna go lay with our kid. She um, wanted me to, but I didn't. Well. I wasn't expecting you to come back. I'm pretty sure I would not have laid back down on top of your feet. No, I wouldn't expect you to come back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what happened. It was almost time for like you to get up anyway. It was 5.30 in the morning. It was not time for me to get up. <laughs> What's up, John? My husband wants to hold toe hands and I out. LOL. <laughs> What's up, Forza? <laughs> Oh my god. No. You guys know I don't like feet. I just don't like feet in general. It's an Italian grinder. The pizza part is the bread. Ever make shrimp poke boys? I don't no, I don't think I've ever had that. I don't even know what that is, but to be honest. I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with somebody who's also uh, on Long Island. We have a lot in common. I was messaging him through like the first hour of Monday Night Raw tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. And um, I'm probably going to go do something with him next weekend. Not next weekend. Next week. So there might be a change. I got to talk to him um, and see what exactly we're doing. But he was talking about like smoking something. So... It might be something Hello, Jamie. Really good. Hello, John. 
Hello, Brittany. Hey, Mary. Hello from Hello, Louisiana. Hello, Mary. Do you Indigo wanna... from the uh, under the waterfall. Hi, I like your name. That's a cool name. Hey, you want to try mine? It's good. It's me it's like messy, but it's good. I'm sure it's good. Yeah. It's very good. What's up, Mama? Hello, Mama Pert. How you doing, girl? What happened to your arm, Kaki? What happened to my arm? I burnt it last week. And she had burnt tonight too, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, Jimmy almost maimed me again. <laughs> there you go. It's good. It smells good. <sighs> but messy. How did you get the big scar? It was from the pizza? Well. I dropped oh, wow. the pan on her tonight. As you she dropped filming. the pan on my thumb, thank God. I'm unscathed, thank God. <laughs> she, uh, I think the I, look I gave him when he did it, I was just like, oh. She's like, you got sauce on the floor. I'm like, I know, but we gotta get it coming down first. Cause I had to, I had to immediately pick. This happened, hold on, I'll show you guys. Because honestly, the way I showed you guys the other night, it wasn't bad, now it's bad. Yeah. Now it's like third degree to burn, burn bad. That's what it looks like. I didn't do that. No, this was from the other night when my arm, when my arm touched the um, the grate in the oven. It's bad. It's, it's bad. really bad. I have like some neosporin on here, and I'm keeping it covered. Eric, did you see the video? Did you? I'm guessing you saw the video. Holy shit, man! This is a this is a good sandwich. That's really good. That's really, really good. Oh my god. See, now I want to turn like what you have left over into a pasta salad tomorrow night. There won't be left. Oh, the filling? Mm hmm. Well, I'm not going to eat it. I might turn it into a pasta salad. I'm not going to eat that tomorrow. I might do something sloppy. Yeah, yeah. There was huge bubbles on this. There was like a giant bubble on it. And then I went to work the next day. Bubble popped. I wish I would have just like left the bubble because it heals faster that way. Definitely looked like my foot when I dropped all that hot water on it the last time. Yeah, poor Kaggy, you always getting burned. I'm always getting freaking third degree you burns. You know what the, the funny thing is, is? You've been cooking a lot longer than me yet. You always get hurt or burned or scarred. I'm like usually skate free. Maybe you should take pointers from me. Maybe I should just cook less. Maybe. You know what it is? You're always in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Basically. It's, <laughs> it's basically the, the idea. I'm always in the wrong the wrong time in the kitchen. Oh no, that hurts. Oh, Marks, you have no idea how bad this hurts. <laughs> there you go. Andrew said it best. A real chef has battle wounds. Aren't you supposed to let the air add it to heal it? Um... I don't think so. Um, I don't think so because if I let, if I were to go to work, what's up, Jamie? And like, I'm gonna touch a bunch of boxes and stuff. Like, it's gonna get infected. I'm not about that. I don't want to have an infected burn. Cortland says, "Looks like I should be committed." Cortland, you get looks a, like I should be committed. You get a lot of burns on your uh, on your arms. If I'm in a hurry, I get hurt too. Yeah. I want to say something, but at the same time, I don't want to jinx myself because it's a big fear I have when using certain tools I probably shouldn't be using in the kitchen because <clears throat> I don't use them the proper way. That goes for big knives as well. Um, and it's to the point where Kaki's got to give like a, a warning. Please be careful with that. <laughs> Please be careful with that. I'm like, I know. Whenever I, know, I, know. I see him using a big knife, I'm like, please be careful. That's a sharp ass knife. <laughs> I don't want to end up in the emergency room tonight, guys. Don't want to, I don't want that to happen at all. You know what it is? I don't know the proper way to use a knife. And because I'm double jointed, I go with what is comfortable for me to use. And what's comfortable 
the, the proper, the comfortable way for me to use it is not the proper way. It's actually more dangerous. But um, I usually do like a little bit of piece and if it's too risky and I don't feel comfortable to do it, I'll get what I need for the video and then Kaki will finish it up for me. She's a pro, I'm not. I'm just like, as Cortland coined me, a tornado in the kitchen. That's a Victoria, what kind of dressing did you make tonight? That's for you, I'm guessing. I didn't make any dressing. <laughs> you hold it in your teeth like Rambo? What do you mean? What's up, Shark Belly Kelly? What do you mean, I hold it in your teeth like Rambo? Abby's burnt herself many times. Mine is freaking delicious. Yeah, yours is really good. Mine's good too, though. My salad is freaking awesome. Yeah, I just need something crunchy. I need like a carb. I You're can't. eating carbs right now. You're eating carbs on carbs. No, no, no. Me like that. I know I technically should do something like that. Here we go again. How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm tired. We're both, uh, we're both hitting that, uh, that time in our life where we're both working a lot. And for the, for, actually, I'm not even going to say what I'm about to say because I don't want to jinx myself. Uh, we're both working a lot. So if we seem out of it more than usual, that's why. Oh, the knife for a video. Uh, not the big butcher knife, Andrew. No, I won't risk that. But I'll usually put other, I'll put like a spatula or a pizza cutter in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> not a knife, though. Mm -mm. Brother, I must say, you knew how to cook. Thank you. The scenery in your run looks beautiful today. I, I did, um, I wanted to watch wrestling tonight from the start and I didn't want to have to like, catch up on the DVR and I know my mom and dad were going to be watching a show I had a feeling that usually happens when I want to watch wrestling yeah so I made it a point to come home the kids had their cousins over so they were playing and then um, I went for my run by like 645 ish and I, I got to do a trail run which was nice um, temperature dropped a little bit, but I broke a sweat. Had a good run. Temperature dropped a lot of bit from earlier today because yeah, I went out today. walking. It was like Seventy degrees today. I went out for two walks and I sweated my ass off both times, only because I wore a hoodie on purpose because I wanted to sweat. It's a good feeling to sweat mm -hmm. on your exercise. What's up, Jester? Hello, Shirley. How you doing, girl? Hopefully I'll get lucky and I'll get to do it again tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be 65 degrees as opposed to like 72 today. Still warm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's on your Mount Rushmore of wrestlers? I get this question so much. You get it all the time. Almost every other night. It's almost nightly at this point. And I feel like there's always somebody missing. So the answers aren't always the same. But tonight, let's go and say Macho Man, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and I gotta do one more. Um... I feel like it's always between... Owen Hart, Brian Pillman, and British Bulldog. Tonight I'm going to go and say Owen Hart. It's a tough question to, to answer for any wrestling fan. Just watching, just watched your cooking video. Great job. That looks amazing. It's really good. What state are you located? Hello from Arizona. We're in New York. We're in New York. Long Island. Long Island, New York. Not The Rock or Stone Cold? No. No, I love both of those guys, but they're not 
they were never my like uh, interest in wrestling. <laughs> They're turning up the heat on that fake sun simulator. <laughs> they might be. All I know is they should have been turning it up a lot sooner. The shirt looks killer, man. No, Lucky. Don't do it. No. Hi, buddy. Me and my brothers and my mom and my dad were big, uh, big fans of killer clowns. You're not I, eating my salad. We got I got a coffee mug. It's high. not mine, but it's uh it's either my brother's or my mom's. Uh there's killer clown stuff all over this house. Do you think Logan Paul could could Say have hi, a Lucky long, do. Say hello, Lucky. Successful career if he wants. He's super athletic. He yeah, I do. I think he's gonna have a long career. You can't eat that though. Eat full That's salad. I'm getting there. Yeah, stop that. Nope. Nope. You want to be cute and say hello? That's fine. But you want to start licking things? You're out of here. Hey, can you pass me another napkin? Let me see if Excuse I can get that, that mug. Everybody said, oh, lucky do. Lucky do. Alright, now get down. Get down. Because now you're trying to lick my food. <laughs> now he's going to go to Jamie's side. I just learned from my weekend home. Getting too much sun can make your nipples peel off? Oh, damn. There's one of them. Well, Court, I didn't know that. Although, I'm also a woman. You don't got nipples? No, I can't actively tan them in the sun without somebody calling the police on me, so... <laughs> There's that. And here's the other one. So yeah, we got killer clown stuff all over the house. You should see what we have for Halloween. Oh my god. Our Halloween setup is insane. We have a giant shorty clown that just sits outside. Put him up, put him up. And he moves. Shut up. Dude, that looks sick. I'm telling you. My brother has got one of the coolest collections of... Oh, your brother has the most awesome collections of like horror stuff. Horror stuff, old school movies. Mm -hmm. Killer, his killer clown collection is insane. Um... I like the killer clowns, but I was in. I've learned my lesson of buying stuff, collecting things, collecting things, um, because I'll get very deep into it and I'll get everything I need, everything to complete the collection, and then I usually fuck something up major in my life to where I need money and I sell it uh, and I lose on it. So, I've learned, for me, it's best for me to create my own stuff that has no value, right? I can't go and sell it. <laughs> I've never seen... <laughs> was the... I'm just... What's up, Patricia? Just curious, was the Iron Claw movie worth the view? Uh-huh. It's a good movie. Jamie, you should do a stream dressed up as Pennywise. I've never seen that one. Oh my god, me neither. Listen, I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns. I will never watch a thing. Ever. Mm -mm. You would never watch what? The movie. What? Which, killer Clowns? Not Killer Clowns. The, the movie Pennywise. Oh. Creepy. No thanks. Hey, Nelson. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Can you still move like you did in your wrestling video? Yeah. Oh, hello, my MILF. I didn't even see you in here either. The movie is called It. It. Yeah, that no, was I've it. never seen it. Yeah, no. 
Um, no thanks. I'm you good. know, you know what's funny, and I'm very confident. I'd bet anything I have. I bet you. Let's just say, I got an email or a direct message from somebody in either WWE or AEW and said, "Hey, you know, we think we could do something. Would you mind flying down or driving to so and so just for a tryout?" I would impress the fuck out of them. I'm like, holy shit. Um, that is not even a concern. I'm 38. I'm 38, but I could still do everything. And I probably would be much better because, like, back when I was wrestling, I was uh, rushing and not paying attention to the little things that I pay attention to now. So I know I would absolutely kill it. No, I'm about to knock. But I figured, figured I'd, I'd say hello. hello. Hello, Nelson. I hope you enjoyed our little game the other day. <laughs> our little joke. Still handsome. Thank you. You would stay in the ring. You would stay in the ring. I could stay in the ring. I just can't take... I was just talking to somebody tonight. I can't take the chance of grinding on the indies and not making money to support my family and taking a chance of getting hurt, you know? Uh, what would your stage name be if you could choose the same name? Jamie Van Lemer. That's what it was when I did wrestle. It would be Jamie Van Lemer. We had a good laugh. Sorry, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> but no luck. See, I was only I was the only person successful at finding her. That's fine. I'll let you all know. <laughs> what would you wear as a wrestler? You look like a <laughs> Mary calls you the pizza man. <laughs> <laughs> a speedo slash bandana hammock kind of guy. Um, you know what? If I were, if I were to go back, I would one hundred percent have my legs showing. So I probably would go with oh man, fighters, <laughs> low cut boots. Obviously, have the ankle accessory on the one side, headband. Um, and then I probably would do something with the fur coat like I used to have. A little bit of a throwback to the old me versus the new me. I'd be totally different than anything else you see on TV. 100%. Look what I do for my food videos. Can you imagine if I had a chance to be on national television every single week? There would be nobody like me. True. I do this. I do this without... I do this and I keep it fresh and constantly change my... Um, not so much appearance, but keep things different every single night. And I do this for, for no paycheck. If I was getting paid to do it, somebody said we remind them of, their, of their parents. <laughs> of, <who? laughs> of their parents. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they have some pretty cool parents. Pretty cool parents. Think about that. As much as I put into this show. As much as I put into the whole entire everything, we don't make a dime. So imagine if I was yeah. a paycheck. Excuse me, yeah. To not only do something, but to be on national television, I would be the cream of the crop. I would be the freaking the you know, I'd be the dove's nuts. I would be it. The dove's no. nuts. What the fuck? <laughs> The dove's nuts, not. I've never heard that before. The it, dove's nuts. I just made it up. Oh. It's like a fancy way of saying "dude's nuts." <laughs> well, all right. I'm gonna be dude's nuts. Does nuts. <laughs> Hello, Mama Bear. New here, why do you eat so late? It's our dinner time. 
It's just when we eat. Me and Kagi, we got kids, so we don't really have a lot of free time. Or alone time. Or alone time. So, at night, for us to do this show, it's after hours because everybody's sleeping. There's no mommy, daddy. There's no this and that. It's like we could be Jamie and Kaki, not mommy and daddy. We could do what we need to do. Mm -hmm. But if you had the opportunity to work more on the creative side and be part of Triple H's team behind the scenes, oh, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I have no experience. I'm sure they're looking for somebody with like a some sort of degree, which I don't have. And I was never a big enough name on the independent scene for me to have any credibility. It would have to be someone listening to me and saying he kind of knows what he's talking about. Let's do something. What's up, Gordon? You are Hello, so... Gordon. Jimmy. Do I smell what The Rock is cooking? Do oh, I smell it? <laughs> I seem loyal to wrestling. I've always watched it. I've always been a part of it. Some, like, yeah, I'm always going to be attached to it. <coughs> you know, whether my opinion is good or not, um, I, I don't ever remember not watching it. Ever. This is going to be hard to beat this week. Yeah, it was really good. I think I'm going to use that like for our son's like sandwich. Not tomorrow, because his sandwich is right back for tomorrow. But You think he would like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> you need to come in as a manager. How about show off? Mm. I'm a truck driver. Hello, Leah. The Killer Clowns, that's the one I just posted tonight. I just want to know what you're eating. Uh, an Italian grinder with pizza bread as the bread. Don't ask me what's in it because I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I can't name it all. Hello, Kelly. Good night. Cheers, Khaki. I'm off to bed. Oh, good night, girl. Listen, I, don't, I need to be off to bed because I'm tired. I'm done. I'm tired. I have to get up early. Yeah. Mm. We, we can wrap it up. I'm done. I got it's one bite. And he's starting to get antsy. Oh, he's getting super antsy. Oh. Can I just have one more napkin? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. We will... Wow, I might have to do something with macaroni salad tomorrow. That was delicious. We will see you guys tomorrow night. Yes, Thank we you will. for hanging out with us. Um, <clears throat> if you do have any ideas mm. that maybe I've never done, or maybe it's something I haven't done in a long time, and you want to see it, uh, you never know what might spark an interest in getting me, getting my wheels turning. So just drop a comment on the YouTube video. And uh, if I'm in the mood, I'm in the mood. And I'll think of something different. Stop. Yeah, he's being very impatient. It's starting to hurt me now. All right. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>